What about the, uh, what are your thoughts on the uh, mechanical removal of the uh, brown trout? You I mean, know, uh, the mechanical mind? removal aspect of the brown trout, uh, it, 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 if you look at sound science and data, you look at literature sources across the West that have tried to use mechanical removal to control brown trout, it's ineffective. And when you do have to do it at high enough levels, what do you think is going to happen to the rainbow trout population? Mass murder. Yeah, if you're, if you're shocking the shorelines of some of the best fishing in the state, or historically was some of the best round rainbow trout fishing oh, in the man. state, um, you're stressing the fish. Seven days a week, you know, eight-hour days of electrofishing and nets, you're going to impact the population. Yeah. And so we have gone on record, and uh, the commission has gone on record to oppose um, the uh, the mechanical removal aspect Good of, for you. Of, nice. of the uh, Park Service's proposal to remove brown trout or to control brown trout. Nice. Yeah. Uh, well, and you know what? There are some really great options that we think that the Park Service should move in the direction of, one being a bounty system. If put the bounty a concern, on. Yeah, put I agree. The, put brown the money trout on bounty. the ground. In order to them. ask the anglers, who will be far more effective in catching these fish than than the electrofishing, with much much less impact, right. and pay them to remove those brown trout. We have no harvest on them already. We're not managing for them at least, ferry. But if they're going to do it, do it in a way that doesn't impact the fishery further, after fivefold magnitude decline in the fishery, um, and and. Do it with our anglers and our user groups. That's going to drive the economy. It just makes sense. What, what's the deal with the German brown trout? Why are they being removed? Well, uh, we know that they're highly predatory Indeed. species. We've managed it for a rainbow trout population. Water if you, wolves, JK. If you see, if you see brown trout increases um, at a high enough level in places like Lee's Ferry, you can um, suspect that it's the because... rainbow trout's going to decline. Yep. So for what we're managing for, and we've – and we want to manage for that blue ribbon rainbow trout fishery. It it's not conducive with our um, our goals in that fishery. If the population gets too high, if it stays at a low number, mm -hmm. it's not a big deal. Yeah. But I mean, it goes back twenty years where we've re uh, removed the uh, limits on brown trout, so it's unlimited harvest up there. We haven't managed for it for twenty years, but the operations of the dam is what's driving this. Yeah. And so that's where I, Bureau of Reclamation needs to come to the table to say, yeah, we should probably get involved. We should move off of fall high flow events. So for folks that don't know, brown trout spawn in the fall. You initiate, you clean the gravel, you provide spawning habitat. What do you think is going to happen with brown trout? They're going to increase. Oh, yeah. They're going to, if you give me a Holiday Inn Express for free, I'm going. Yeah, yeah. baby. Spawn till you <laughs> die, JK. So, so, you know, it just, you know, we've said it. We've gone on record with Reclamation and the Park Service before that the fall high flows were a bad idea, um, and we want them to go back to spring. Yeah. But everybody was so concerned about rainbow trout impacts on humpback chub downstream, which really doesn't isn't supported by science that least fairy fish are impacting the humpback chub 60 miles downstream. Um, but they wanted to off-ramp it, and when they off-ramped it to the fall, they created a bigger problem. Yeah. And so I suspect, I, well, I hope that they come to the table and want to fix it uh, and fix it with us using science and data. Okay. Great plan. I uh, hope that works out. And what's the date of the, uh, the meeting up there at uh, Marble Canyon? Uh, it's, it's likely going to be March 5th, but we'll get that out as soon as we have it. Okay. It's set in stone. I would, I would like to attend that just out of curiosity. You want to go? Yeah. I haven't been up to Marble Canyon. Bring a fly rod. Yep, and we're working with Terry Gunn up there. For yep. if most folks know Terry, he's a great guide, guide service up there. He's he's working with the other guides and the in the anglers to try to bring them together, and uh, we'll get the information out as soon as uh, as soon as we got everything set up. Great job! All right, uh, pleasure to have you here again. Uh, a couple more announcements uh, on Thursdays, right here on fifteen eighty the Fanatic NASCAR is back live at seven p.m. Uh, Thursday evening. Uh, uh, learn all about the top drivers, the personalities, uh, what's happening with Monster Energy, Na uh, NASCAR, Cup Cars. Uh, February 27th, uh, we have to go to the polls, Congressional District 8. Phil Lovis, he's our guy, uh, congressman for uh, everybody, just like uh, our buddy um, 